Let's talk to Robert Omotunde, who is an investment analyst with AfroInvest now. As we talk about the fixed income markets and, of course, some of the other, we'll talk about the banks. A good morning to you, Robert. Thank you so much for joining me. Good morning, Ari. So let's start with taking a look at the markets. Yesterday, uh, we saw Treasury bills uh, recording gains for a second consecutive uh, session with mostly the short and uh, medium-term tenors being actively traded by investors. Is it because of the NTB auction that was held by the CBN yesterday? Well, back to so, uh, what you noticed um, about uh, the fixed income market recently has been that uh, there are investors for the short uh, tenor instruments. And this is seen across uh, both the treasury news market and, of course, the uh, shorter term to maturity of uh, bond instruments. Uh, you recall that yesterday there was an auction of about 150.5 billion uh, naira in three major instruments the 91 day, 182, and the 364 day instruments. And uh, we saw that uh, a lot of uh, investor uh, sentiment was in favor of uh, most treasury bills uh, instruments. And the reason is because uh, some investors or most investors you know, find it more convenient to play within the shorter hand of the investment call. And the reason is because of so many other macroeconomic issues. Uh, not so many investors are willing to lock in their fund for a longer term, given the different uh, um, macroeconomic uh, challenges that the economy is facing. So when you see that in uh, within the fixed income space, when the yield cost seems to be almost of certain instruments, it means that the expectation for the future, uh, as investors are pricing, is not so good. It's not so good, and that's why you will see uh, investors pricing. Uh, higher, most instruments at the shorter end of the curve as against the longer end of the curve. Yeah, because we saw an oversubscription of um, with a ratio bid to with a bid to cover ratio of 1.35, and investors demanded uh, a total of 261. 0.52 billion naira. But now, looking at the bonds market, what do you what do you make of it? Our investors have been particularly cautious trading in bonds, even though uh, we're expecting the debt management office to hold a bond a bond auction next week. Yes, uh, what what is this for the bond market is, is a different story, and for investors that are designed, this is an opportunity for them to take advantage of the market. You have noticed that uh, there has been a form of uh, convergence in the way yields are trading across the bond yield curve. If you analyze the yield curve week on week, uh, it appears that there has been generally um, higher yield in terms of uh, what the investors investors were pricing uh, last week as against what they are doing this week. On the average, you see a yield of about 12.4%, but this is uh, kind of polarized across the so for a tenor of uh, seven years and above, you see investors pricing it as high as 13.6%. Whereas when you look at the uh, term to maturity of two to, six, uh, two to six years, investors are pricing at about an average of 12.4%. Uh, and then when you analyze from one to two years that uh, term to maturity, you see an average of about 11.6%. So it appears that investors are pitching their tank you know, along the yield curve, of course, with the exception of the August 2016 instrument, which is currently trading at a yield of 7.8%, uh, and of course, the, the majority is in August, so we expected that it to take this part. So, as we speak, most bonds, uh, I mean, of the 17 instruments that are listed, FGM bonds, about 10 of them are trading at uh, discounts, uh, while only some of them are, you know, slightly trading or par, with the exception of uh, uh, the 2022 instruments. Which is still significantly, you know, trading at premium at about one hundred and twelve naira. So, so we, we believe that uh, investors are, are kind of uh, weary, you know, cautious. I mean, cautious of locking in for a very longer term uh, because of the various issues that the economy is facing. And from the monetary policy angle, uh, if anything, if the, the old guidance of the city and is anything to go by. Uh, at the current inflation rate, you know, of 12.8%, uh, it to, to appear that we may, we may likely see an upward um, uh, repricing of 
the benchmark rate. And if that happens, you have a direct impact on the, on the yield environment. So investors might as well be you know, playing in anticipation of uh, the likely move by the NPC. Well, take, talking a little bit more about uh, next week's bond auction uh, by the debt management office, do you think it will be uh, oversubscribed, just like the first auction for the second quarter? We saw an oversubscription for the three b uh, bonds that were actually uh, auctioned by the debt management office. Yeah, definitely so, because uh, if you analyze uh, as far back as over two years now, for every bond auction that has been conducted, you've always seen... Um, rate of oversubscription, you know, uh, increasing by the day, uh, most times over 100% oversubscription. And this is, uh, is, is featuring the level of uh, uh, funds within the system that are waiting to be deployed into uh, relatively safer investable use. Uh, you will recall that uh, in the equities market that not in too gross volatility has been something to worry about. So most funds Within the economy, have been tracking uh, fixed income instruments, and uh, what we see play out in most auctions, you know, is uh, a lot of these funds trying to you know, find a place in the, in the, in the limited supply. You can put it that way that we have in the market. So definitely, the auction for this month, in the month of May, will also be oversubscribed. You know, judging by the history and the level of um, funds that are tracking. Uh, well, thank you so much, Robert, for joining me on the program and sharing your perspectives. We'll, we'll have a conversation on the state of the banks sometime very soon. Thank you for having me. And that's it on today's edition of the program. Many thanks for spending time with us. I'm Harriet Abbini. Have a profitable day.